Hello everybody, today is August 9th, 2020, and um, I can't believe that it's been two plus months since I have uploaded a video. As much of a pain in the ass as it is to upload videos for me because I'm doing them from my phone and I don't have the best internet connection, at the same time, I recorded tons of videos. I just never uploaded them. And at this point, it's like not really a point in uploading them. Um, if I use them, they'll be a part of like a weight loss compilation later when I've um, actually gotten myself much smaller. P.S. You know that Don't Rush song that's like been a little, you know, sensation, namely on TikTok and everything? I was jamming to that song so hard last night. <laughs> Because I love those like don't rush challenges. I think those are so cute and so funny. And I thought to myself, like, and, and inspirational in some cases, you know. And I thought to myself, I want to do that. I want to do one of those don't rush things, you know. I just haven't gotten her. Like, what I want to do, I'll be honest, not saying I'm going to do it, but what I would love to, what I would love to do is like do a mirror scene where I'm doing the pfft, pfft, like that and then show me right now at my current weight because this is the heaviest I plan on being in life and certainly in the near future you know in the in the you know next few years but hopefully for life this will be the heaviest I'll ever have been and or, or that I'll ever be again I'm sorry and uh you know then show me at a much smaller weight like when I've lost say close to 100 pounds 80 something pounds or whatever and I'm all made up and all that kind of stuff I thought that would be so cool you know but we'll see what happens now in the meantime um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, tell you guys how I've been doing so to sum it up uh, my previous video which was in June the previous posted video which was um, shot in June um, I was something like 291.3 I had been planning for several months uh, since around the end of last year to go to this one Japanese grill place that is really cool. I really love it. It's still one of my favorite restaurants, but I had a rude awakening because after going um, and I was joking about, oh, I'm doing something dangerous. Well, guess what? Even though it felt like, and I say felt like because I don't track my food like I should, but it felt like I was mostly on track. I found myself after that experience bouncing around in the 290s. So I went from like my lowest weight range all the way down to about the mid uh, 290s, you know? And I'm just like, man, this sucks, <laughs> you know? And then finally, um, in, I guess it was in July, I started to, get, well, it must have been in July, I hit the 280s. Thank you, God. Okay, I finally hit those awesome 280s. I mean, the 280s for me, that's my daughter. She's with my mom right now, and she's fussy. Um, but she's okay. She's with my mom. My mom raised me, okay. But um, that being said, real quick, is that, um, so I got down to the 280s, and I was really happy about that. And I started thinking to myself, man, I'm going to rush through the 280s. I'm going to get into the 270s within a month. Well, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> and um, furthermore, um, not only did that not happen, but I found myself bouncing around in the 280s as well. Um, the lowest I've gotten down to is 285.1. And that was like near the beginning of this month, like either the first day of this month, between the first to the third day of this month, you know, I got down to 285.1. Woot woot, uh, that's 31.7 pounds down for me. However, um, I then ran into, and I'm sorry, I'm, I look off sometimes, you know, as opposed to looking directly into the camera, so forgive me, but it, it helps me think better. Um, but then I got down to, um, to uh, excuse me, I got up to recently 289.7 after getting down to 285.1. And it's like, well, how did that happen? Um, I went to Whole Foods and also on my previous journey, my previous successful journey, 
um, you know, big successful journey talking about uh, back in the 2014-2015 time. I cheated with Whole Foods a lot. Whole Foods was like a really triggering place for me because in my head, it was hard to, like the same excuses that I have to stay away from most commercial junk food, because Whole Foods um, products tend to be of a higher quality, then it was harder for me to mentally find the excuses to stay away. So I was cheating on healthy, cheating on my weight loss journey with healthier junk food, if that makes any sense um, to anybody who may be able to relate. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, <laughs> just wrapping this up. I'm sorry. There's stuff going on in my background. But yeah, I found myself cheating with healthier junk food at Whole Foods. And this time was no exception. I bought two big bags, not the normal single serving, but two big bags that have three servings per bag of Smart Sweets, which I don't recommend unless you're the kind of person that you don't really want to eat much of that candy. I don't recommend you buy it if you have a problem with self-control like me because I sat up there and I ate two big bags of Smart Sweets, which comes to six servings of that candy. Plus, I had the high-key chocolate chip cookies, which, P.S., were very good. Um, Smart Sweets has changed their formula where they're using allulose instead of stevia, and I don't like the new formula. I only like the old one. So the new one I can resist way easier. Like, I did buy it a handful. Like, here and there, I did buy it in the past, but, you know, I kind of had a come-to-Jesus moment where I'm like, I don't even really like this stuff, so I'm not going to buy this anymore. But when I see that old formula, it's very difficult to resist. So um, I'll just tell you real quick, I came in at 289.7 a couple of days ago and I had a moment where I realized I'm like, you know what, today I'm going to cheat and then I'm going to get right back on my keto journey. Okay, note I said keto, not low carb, keto journey. Um, I actually had gotten into ketosis and stuff. I did the, you know, finger prick thing where I found out that I was in ketosis and everything, you know, and... Um, my weight was really starting to move along, and then I, you know, so two things happened, I think. For one, that cheat day that I mentioned, where why I call it a cheat day, where I had all that smart sweets crap, that was one. And I think the other thing that did it is that I wasn't having bowel movements. Um, and I'm not trying to be gross, but that's a common issue when you cut back on carbs for a lot of people. And that's what happened to me. I wasn't, you know, having bowel movements because I noticed... TMI that when stuff started moving again, then the weight started to drop somewhat, you know, from that 289.7 down to like 288.7 or you know what I mean, it just started to kind of come down. So I think that was another part of why I gained four plus pounds off of one day of cheating with low carb snacks, you know. Um, so anyway, to wrap up this whole story, uh, here's what happened or here's what has happened in the past handful of days. So like two days ago, I registered at 289.7 and I decided I'm going to cheat. So I cheated and um, like maybe two to three days ago, it might have even been three days ago when that happened. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I cheated the next, either the same day or the next day, I forget. Um, I got a sandwich from this place called Bucky's. Actually, I, that's where I got all my cheat food from. I went to Bucky's. I got a sandwich, turkey sandwich with tomato, which I love when they put tomato on it, um, on ciabatta bread. I got that. I had two bags of potato chips, or not potato chips, corn chips, whatever, um, flamas and uh, flaming hot lemon Doritos. Um, and lastly, I had a big bag of Bavarian almond style cashews and I ate all that in one day and the next day I'm back on track. That was yesterday. And today when I stepped on the scale, I came in at 286.4, okay, after all that cheating. And I, I don't know what it's going to be over the next few days, but what I do know is that I'm, it's not going to be fucked up because of me. It's going to be like maybe my body is dealing with what I've already done, but it's not going to be because of me making poor choices in the present, you know? 
uh, um, or future, present or future, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping and praying for 279 within the next 30 days or so. We will see what happens. Right now, I am around seven pounds away from my goal. Um, and by my birthday, which is in mid-October, I'm really hoping for 269, which I know is a really big goal, but that's what I really want for my birthday. So we will see what happens. So anyway, on that note, um, let me go ahead and do a quick body shot. This is me at 286.4. Please don't judge me. I really didn't have anything to wear. Um, this is an old shirt that I wore when I was about while I was a bit smaller than I am right now, and it was less shrunken. It's act, it really did shrink because it used to come down further. Now it's like a crop top almost, but <laughs> anyway, I got this from Air Apostle back in 2016. You know, I, used, I actually bought a million of these shirts because I liked the style on my body at that time. Back then I was in the early 260s, and um, I liked that style, so. I bought a bunch of these, but this is me at uh, 286.4. And I'm officially 30 plus pounds down, 30.4 pounds down, but I was at 31.7 pounds down. So I still got a little bit of catching up to do from to where I was, but I think I'm doing very well. So I'm very proud of myself and happy and feeling blessed. So that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.